Hello everyone and thank you for viewing my channel. If it is your first time, thank you, thank you. Today's recipe is fry bake and we have some saltfish on the side. If it's your first time viewing, thank you for liking and subscribing. Let's get into this Guyanese fry bake and all the ingredients that you will need to make this will be listed below. As you can see, my active dry yeast is ye it's yielding and I use red star. All you need is a tablespoon of that in some warm water with some sugar and the yeast will start to rise. That way you know that the yeast is good before you start to mix all your ingredients. So as you can see, my yeast is rising and you're going to need some flour, some cinnamon powder, some butter some salt and sugar for this recipe yes so let's begin so you get a nice dry big container i have a shine pan here and i'm gonna start adding four cups of flour i'm gonna use for this recipe today And I'll go ahead and put my half cup of sugar. And I have added a tablespoon of salt. I've added a tablespoon of cinnamon powder too. And I've added my butter and I'm going to loose it up nicely in the flour so i'm gonna just loose it up loose it up loose it up you could add about six tablespoons of butter i'll be listing all the ingredients down below so remember to go below and check the ingredients out and measurements correct measurements will be listed in the bottom so i'm just gonna loose all of that up into that flour nicely gonna make a hole in the middle and take all of that yeast that was in that warm water and throw it inside of the mixture and I'm gonna get some more water and get some more warm water and add to make sure that I'm able to pick up all the flour so the video might be a little fast I'm gonna move it along quickly so you're just kneading the flour in and I'm just basically going around and picking up all the pieces of flour and getting it all kneaded nicely so that we could rest that flour and let that yeast, let the yeast yield. So I'm just going to give it a few knead and then I'm going to rest the flour, put a little bit of flour at the, up on the surface because it was a little sticky. So I didn't put a lot and now I feel like you know it has the right consistency it's nice and soft and it's also not sticking and this is what it looks like before it yield i'm covering it so it has been covered for like about 45 minutes and i'm back and it's yield and you see how it raised nicely and fluff it's up all nicely so we're gonna go ahead and flour the board now that we're gonna roll everything out on flour your bowl nicely and we're gonna start rolling out these balls you're gonna just average to make sure all some will be the same size and some may not you know this is not um this is no this is not someone i'm catering for so i don't have to make sure everything is the same size or precise which i normally try to do that but I'm just mixing a couple bakes for the, my little girls and we're just gonna roll them out. So let's go ahead and roll it out. And 
and I'm almost finished. I thought think we got about like 12 balls. And we're going to go ahead and just get the rolling pin and roll that. Make sure your board is flower nicely so that it doesn't stick. And I'm going to roll a few of it. And you're going to see, I'm going to cut some of them. If you have, you know, little kids in the house. And you could go ahead and decide to cut them in triangles. You could make it nice, you know. You could change it up, get, cut it in two, cut it in four. A any way you want to do it, you could cut it and fry it. When you have small kids could do a couple just a few like that for the kids uh when we're gonna continue just roll it out and then we're gonna get as we get everything roll out i usually let it sit for a few minutes and then i fill my pan with oil and i let my oil just heat So I'm going to fill it, put a, a nice amount of oil in that pan so that it could cover the bacon, you know. The bacon could be fried evenly. And we're going to let that oil hot. See, the bake was sitting there for like about 10-15 minutes. And you just check your oil by sprinkling a little bit of flour in it. Then you'll know. You know, shh, if you hear that, you know it's ready. So we're going to put our bakes in now and have them fry. And a good way to help activate your bake, because these are floats. So they're floating. They're going to start floating. It's just picking up the oil as you push it around. Pick the oil up and put it on top of the bake. And the bake will start, you know, floating. It Eventually, it floats on its own, but... Because sometimes I'm just doing too many things at a time. I just like to help along the process and getting it done fast. I also help along the process by using one of the biggest pans that I have so that I can put a lot of bake in at a time. So, oh yeah, and go ahead and get a bowl, line it with some paper towel so that when you're ready to take these bake out, they're going to sit and drain any excess oil that's on it. And you're going to flip the bake a few times, you know, you're trying to get it to a nice golden color. Or if you're a person that don't like your bake golden and you just want to get it darker, you could go ahead and let it fry a little darker. I usually have my heat on medium, medium low. Um, I don't want it to be too high because I don't want to cook the outside of the bake and leave the inside raw. So I make sure that I have the heat on medium so that the bake could be cooked completely on the inside as well as the outside. And I this is just one of my bake recipe. I have three bake recipes. I chose to share this one with it with you guys. Um maybe later down 